Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and have to definitely finish off on this one here because we don't have much battery life. So, Ezekiel 9 and 2 now. And I saw six men coming from the direction of the upper gate, which faces north, each with a deadly weapon in his hand. With them was a man clothed in linen who had a writing kit at his side. They came in and stood beside the bronze altar. Now the glory of the Most High of Yashara went up from above the cherubim, where it had been, and moved to the threshold of the temple. Then Yahweh called to the man clothed in linen, who had the writing kit at his side, and said to him, Go throughout the city of Yarawashlam, and put a mark on the foreheads of those who grieve and lament over all the detestable things that are done in it. Which this here is a precept to Isaiah chapter 6 verse 9. And it says here. Let's start off at verse 8. Then I heard the voice of Yahweh saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. He said, Go and tell this people, Be ever hearing, but never understanding. Be ever seeing, but never perceiving. Make the heart of this people colossed, Make their ears dull, and close their eyes. Otherwise they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and turn and be healed. Okay? So again, you know, the Most High Yahweh, He is the one that will heal your mind. Ezekiel 9 and 4 again, And said to him, Go throughout the city of Yarawashalem, and put a mark on the foreheads of those who grieve and lament over all the detestable things that are done in it. As I listened, he said to the others, Follow him through the city and kill, without showing pity or compassion. Slaughter the old men, the young men and women, the mothers and children, but do not touch anyone who has the mark. Begin in my sanctuary. So they began with the old men who were in front of the temple. You see that? Again, slaughter the old men, the young men and women, the mothers and children, but do not touch anyone who has the mark. So who are these that have the mark? Well, we'll go ahead and show you this. Zechariah 12 and 10. And I will pour out on the house of David and the inhabitants of Yarawashalem a spirit of grace and supplication. They will look on me, the one they have pierced, and they will mourn for him as one mourns for an only child, and grieve bitterly for him as one grieves for a firstborn son. In that day the weeping and Yarawashalem will be as great as the weeping of Hadad Rimon in the plain of Megiddo. Okay, why? Well, because the Most High Yahweh says that uh, he will tell the others, which represents Michael, the merciful, and the others, to slaughter the old men, the young woman, and and you know the young men and the and the women and the mothers and children. But do not touch anyone who has the mark begin in my sanctuary so they began with the old men who were in front of the temple so now this is why it says here in Proverbs 7 and 17 sorry Proverbs 17 and 17 a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for a time of adversity which is a quick precept to Jeremiah starting at chapter 9 verse 4 beware of your friends do not trust anyone in your clan for every one of them is a deceiver and every friend is a slander okay every friend a slanderer so you know the most high Yahweh is telling you that a friend loves at all time and a brother is born for a time of adversity this is why you out there 
you need to check yourself check the people that surround you that's in your inner circle all right this is why the most tell you how it says that you have to trust in him alone beware of your friends because a lot of you people right you call each other oh that's my oh, that's my brother you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's my that's my oc. He's he's teaching the right thing. He know what he's talking about. Beware of your friends. Do not trust anyone in your clan. For every one of them is a deceiver, and every friend a slanderer. Friend deceives friend, and no one speaks the truth. They have taught their tongues to lie. They worry themselves with sinning. So the you know this is why the Most High Yahweh says that he look from under the heaven on all mankind to see who does the right the right thing but nobody does you know everybody have become corrupted they have their teeth set on edge and again it's only a righteous remnant that's getting with the program okay that's the reason why they're not gonna go man that's the reason why the most high how it says that they're gonna you know he's gonna spare them they will become his treasured possession so now let's read in Ezekiel 21 and 11 the sword it's appointed to be polished, to be grasped with the hand. It is sharpened and polished, made ready for the slayer. Cry out and wail, son of man, for it is against my people. It is against all the princes of Yasharal. They are thrown to the sword along with my people. Therefore, beat your breast. Alright, so you see why we read in Zechariah the 12th chapter that there will be great weeping in Yarawashalam, more greater than, you know, Hadad Rahman, or however the scripture says, right? So this is why you have to be willing, because in these times and in these days, the Most High Yahweh says He's only going to honor those who honor Him. It says here, testing will surely come, and what if even the scepter, which the sword despises, does not continue? declares the sovereign Yahweh. Now let's read Proverbs 25 and 2. It is the glory of the Most High to conceal a matter, to search how a matter is the glory of kings. Just like it says in Jeremiah 17 and 10, I Yahweh search the heart and examine the mind to reward each person according to their conduct, according to what their deeds deserve. Like a partridge that hatches eggs, it did not lay, are those who gain riches by unjust means. When their lives are half gone, their riches will desert them, and in the end, they will prove to be fools. Okay? Because, you know, this here is a, is a precept to this scripture here, where it talks about scoundrels using, you know, wicked methods. Isaiah 32 and 7. Scoundrels use wicked method. They make up evil schemes to destroy the poor with lies, even when the plea of the needy is just. But the noble make noble plans, and by noble deeds they stand. Okay? So let's go ahead and continue with uh, Proverbs 25 and verse 3 now. As the heavens are high and the earth is deep, so the hearts of kings are unsearchable and you know the most high Yahweh, he says that our people's minds you know they think that they are higher than the most high they think that they know it all so this is why it says here now remove the dross from the silver and a silversmith can produce a vessel Remove wicked officials from the king's presence, and his throne will be established through righteousness. Which we're going to talk about the wicked officials that will be removed from the king's presence. And now let's read Jeremiah 17 and 14. Heal me, Yahweh, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. They keep saying to me, Where is the word of Yahweh? Let it now be fulfilled. I have not run away from being your shepherd. You know I have not desired the day of despair like everybody else do. What passes my lips is open before you. Do not be a terror to me. You are my refuge in the day of disaster. 
Let my persecutors be put to shame, but keep me from shame. Let them be terrified, but keep me from terror. Bring on them the day of disaster, destroy them with double destructions. Okay, so this is why, you know, the Most High Yahweh says in Job that his faithful servants, they will laugh at disaster and famine. Okay, and need not fear when what? When destruction comes. But unto the wicked, they're going to be fearing. They're going to have to worry about when destruction comes. All right. Which is also a precept to, you know, in Isaiah, which we don't have to get right now, where the Yahweh says that his servants will eat, but you will be put to shame. You who trust in yourself, you who trust in worthless idols. Okay? This is all part of Yahweh's glory. You understand? So it says here, this is what Yahweh said to me. Go and stand at the gate of the people through which the kings of Yahweh will go in and out. Stand also at all the other gates of Yahweh Shalom. Say to them, hear the word of Yahweh, you kings of Yahweh, and all the people of Yahweh, and every one living in Yahweh Shalom who come through these gates. So this is why it says, this is... This is what Yahweh says, Be careful not to carry a load on the Sabbath day, or bring it through the gates of Yahweh Washalom, which is a precept to Psalms 24 and 3 again. Who may ascend to the high mountain of Yahweh? Who may stand in his holy place? Those who do not worship a false god, those who do not, who do not swear by a false god, or worship a false idol. So this is that's that load that you people are carrying on the Sabbath day, right? Which we already talked about, the Most High Yahweh says that He will save you from harm, okay? From six calamities, no trouble will you know, no, no, no trouble will reach you, and from seven, you will be free of harm, all right? How I'm just, you know, roughly saying it. So let's go ahead and read Isaiah 1 and 2. Hear me, you heavens, listen, earth, for Yahweh has spoken. I read children and brought them up, but they have rebelled against me. The ox knows its master, the donkey its owner's manger. But Yashara does not know. My people do not understand. Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek Yahweh while he may be found. Again, what does it mean to seek Yahweh while he may be found? That means to uh, trust in his name, to continue to be zealous, and to continue to want to acknowledge all that he's doing for himself, for you while it's happening while all of this is you know in effect that's what it means call on him while he is near because you know it goes hand in hand with this here Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1 gather together gather yourselves together you shameful nation before the decree takes effect, and that day passes like wind-blown chaff, before Yahweh's fierce anger comes upon you, before the day Yahweh's wrath comes upon you. So that's what it means. Seek Yahweh while he may be found, call on him while he may be near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts, right? Like the scripture says, if you really change your ways, then Yahweh will let you live in this place. Let them turn to Yahweh, and he will have mercy on them, and to our God, for he will freely pardon. And furthermore, it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares Yahweh. Okay? Just like, you know, we read in Proverbs 25 and 3. As the heavens are high, and the earth is deep, so the hearts of kings are unsearchable. So you are the one that has to change your ways. Isaiah 55 and 9. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Just like we read here in Isaiah 40 and 5. And the glory of Yahweh will be revealed, and all people will see it together, for the mouth of Yahweh has spoken. So this is happening now. Okay, it's happening now. All peoples of all languages, they're joining themselves to Yahweh. They're going to call on His name because Yahweh said that His name will be great. But there's people out there that despise it. There's people out there that think it's because of themselves. They say that, you know, they are the one and there is none besides them. Well, you know, you're doing that to your own shame. 
Isaiah 40 and 28 says, Do you not know? Have you not heard? Yahweh is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary. It doesn't matter how much you people buck up against the truth. It doesn't matter what you got to say. It says, His understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. You see that? So everything that's happening with us all, this is all through the spirit of the Most High Yahweh and trusting in His name, right? This is why He says that He will be like the dude to Yasharel. His words will descend like showers on new grass. So this is why it says even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in Yahweh will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagle. Right? Because why? The Most High Yahweh says He's going to give them that mercy. That's, that's the wings. The Most High Yahweh says that He will cover you with His hand. Right? His angels will, will, will guard you in all your ways. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. What that means is that we're going to have faith in the Most High Yahweh. We're going to be walking in His ways. We're not going to be running to evil. We're not going to be shedding innocent blood. Right? We're not going to be preaching hate like how most people want to do. All right? But again, you can do that to, you know, to your own harm. You can do that if you want to. But us who know what is right, we ain't going to be about that no more. See that? We're going to be doing the right thing. We're going to be walking in the righteous path. So they will run and not grow weary, and they will walk and not be faint. So again, you know, Yahweh says that we're going to be fleeing from Babylon, and we're going to be walking in His, in his ways. And we shall eat without haste. You see that? We shall eat without haste. That's the reason why the Most High Yahweh says, you're not supposed to fear what these people got to say about you. Isaiah 37 and 30. This will be the sign for you, Hezekiah. This year you will eat what grows by itself, and the second year what springs from that. But in the third year, sow and reap. Plant vineyards and eat their fruits. Once more, a remnant of the kingdom of Yahweh will take root below and bear fruit above. Okay? For out of Yahweh will come a remnant, and out of Mount Tezion a band of survivors. The zeal of Yahweh Almighty will accomplish this. You see that? Those who have took the words of Yahweh to heart. Those who know what is right. Those who believe in what is being revealed to them before their eyes. So now let's read Jeremiah 44 and 28 about, you know, those who are still carnal minded, those who do not believe. So it says, those who escape the sword and return to the land of Yahweh from Egypt will be very few, as we read. Only a remnant, a remnant is going to take root below and bear fruit above. Everybody else, they're going to be still sowing their seed in, in, a, in, a, in a vegetable garden. Okay? And that's the God honest truth. They're going to be carnal minded as hell still, not willing to understand the words of the Most High Yahweh for what it is being revealed to them now for. So it says here, those who escape the sword and return to the land of Yahweh will be, sorry, from Egypt will be very few. Then the whole remnant of Yahweh who came to live in Egypt will know whose words will stand, mine or theirs. This will be the sign to you that I will punish you in this place, declares Yahweh, so that you will know that my threats of harm against you will surely stand. Okay? So this is the sign for you, for the rebels. But the Most High Yahweh says, you know, the sign that he gave for the house of David, right? This will be the sign for us. You will eat what grows by itself in the second year from that, but in the third, sow and reap, plant vineyards and eat their fruit. You see that? Okay. All praises to the Most High Yahweh. Zechariah 12 and 1. A prophecy, the word of Yahweh concerning Yahshuaal. Yahweh who stretches out the heavens, who lays the foundation of the earth, and who forms the human spirit within a person, declares, I am going to make Yahweh wash them a cup that sends all the surrounding peoples reeling. Yahweh the will be besieged as well as Yahweh wash them. On that day, when all the nations of the earth are gathered against her, I will make Yahweh an immovable rock for all the nations. All who try to move it will only injure themselves. Okay? Including Yahweh's leaders who like to move boundary stones. They are the wicked officials who will, who will be removed. So praise Yahweh.